Good afternoon, happy Wednesday to all of your sunshiny faces. Guys, I don't know why I had a complete brain fart today and um, I didn't actually publish the um, blog post for all of the matchups that I did this week. I um, forgot to do them. So I'm gonna have to have them posted tomorrow. I finished them yesterday, which means that they should have been up today. And I was actually working on something else, which I am so happy I got done. I'll let you guys know about that too. Well, because of what I was working on, I had to finish the countdown to savings video um, and the blog post and all that kind of stuff. So I got that done after I got done with the other thing. And then I also ended up having to, um, I edited three vlogs today. And in that time, like I said, I completely forgot that I was like, oh my gosh, I should have posted these, <laughs> the, um, what's it called? The, um, matchups for this week from the four stores that I did. So whoops, like I said, that was kind of, um, you know, my bad, but, um, I also semi finished my list already today, which is awesome. So I told you guys how doing that like yesterday actually helped me so that I can do my list then today. Um, so I actually already knew what I was going to get. All I have to do is actually just copy it over from the, um, the matchups that I already had. I start everything in the ad that I want to get. And then what I'm actually going to do is both make my list the way that I normally do, which is I do it in lists on my Mac and then it just syncs over to my phone. And um, because of that, it's easier for me to check stuff off while I'm in the store instead of like sending myself like an email or something like that because I can't like check stuff off. Um, so it, that's why I like doing that. And then it like kind of shades out so I know that I already got that obviously. Then like going through an email list and being like, oh, did I already get this? Especially if it's like I'm getting a lot of stuff somewhere. So I actually really like doing that and I have like a different list for each store. Um, sometimes at Jewel though, I might put it in like notes if it's like a bigger list with it, like stuff that I know that like has a coupon with it so that I know like, okay, make sure that that's the right coupon or whatever. So, um, sometimes I'll do that with Jewel, but lately I've just doing been actually doing it in lists. I think the last like two or so times I went to Jewel now. Um, because they've been so much smaller because I've been so scared about the Mimix not working. But there really wasn't too much that was really going on this week. I'll probably end up doing it in lists as well. But I'm going to send a copy of it in an email to my dad. So that not only does he have it so that he can like help and keep an eye out and stuff like that for the stuff while we're at the grocery store. But also too because last week. And guys this was I've never. Okay not never. But I rarely ever forget or leave my phone. And when I left last weekend, I was like, oh, I, I felt like I was forgetting something like the entire time as we were driving and all of a sudden we got to the store and I was like, I forgot my phone. I can't believe it. And like I was checking to make sure that I actually did forget it. Sure enough, it was back at home. So it wasn't like I lost it or anything, which we didn't even ever get out of the car. So um, <laughs> I would have just lost it in the car or on the way to the car. But <clears throat> I completely forgot it and lost it and so I had to go off of what I had already starred in the ad. Because I remembered to bring that. I remembered to bring my purse. I had the money and everything like that. I forgot my phone which like I said literally never happens. Um, and I actually left it in my room too. Like normally like I might if I've ever forgotten it I feel like I've forgotten it like sitting on the kitchen table or something like that. Like I've never forgotten it in my room like it might have even still been charging or something like that and it wasn't even that it needed to I just never picked it up at all that day. Um, and so I think it was on Saturday morning. Luckily like I said though we only ended up going to like the three stores because we did Jewel then on Friday last week and Dollar Tree or whatever. So it wasn't a huge big thing, but I completely spaced out. So not only that, but for two reasons now, I think that I'm going to send my dad like a copy of what we're going to plan on getting for that week too. And like I said, to kind of help me like stay on track. I feel like sometimes too, when we go shopping, like I sometimes just get like, I don't know, distracted easily. Um, like not necessarily like I'm, I'm the type of person where if I have a list, I go into the store with the mindset of I'm going to get XYZ and I just go in the store and we go and get XYZ. I'm not looking around and you know, you know just kind of wandering through the aisles and stuff like that. If I'm going there for like grocery shopping or if I'm going there for a reason then I like I said it's you know I'm there and I get the, it done very quickly especially when we're going to like multiple grocery stores. But if we're going to like Target a lot of times especially at Target I like to just wander in Target. <laughs> Um, not so much 
Walmart, maybe in Walmart too a little bit, but um, Target there's like always something to see and something new in Target. So I'm always kind of <laughs> just like wandering around in there. I'm normally really good about that, but sometimes I'm just like, oh, like let's check over here. Or maybe I'll look over there. But like my dad, if he knows what we're getting and he knows the price, he like, I don't know how he can like automatically find it in the store. Like we'll be in the whole produce section, right? And like, I'm like, okay, we're looking for Fiji apples. They're supposed to be 79 cents or something like that. My dad's like, oh, they're over here. And I'm like, how did you find them that quickly? We've been standing here for like the last five minutes and haven't seen them. I was like shopping for other produce and stuff like that. And I'll, then, you know, and I'm waiting to look for, you know, everything else that's on my list. So it's helpful. Like if there's two people shopping, both know what we're getting and stuff like that. I feel like it's also too, I used to do that when I went with Matthew also was that I'd give him like a list and be like, okay, like, you know, especially when I go to Walmart because at Walmart I can see what aisle the stuff is ahead of time when I make my list so I literally put it in aisle order and then go to the store so I know like okay I'm going this aisle this aisle this aisle you know straight right in order um and so I'd sometimes send Matthew like the list too for Walmart and he'd help like me find what we're looking for or, like kind of stay on the same track and stuff like that so it is helpful um doing it that way so that's what I think I'm gonna do like I said, I literally just pretty much, I'm like already done with my list. All I have to do is actually type it out and put it in here. I do think I'm going to do freezer dinners. I realize that we don't have any taco meats, like pre-made taco meat that I've frozen. I must have cooked it all or something like that because I haven't seen any recently. And I thought I had like maybe like six pounds or something like that. Each like individually frozen in a pound and pre-made and you know made with the taco meat and I just throw it in the slow cooker and we have it or whatever but um I we must have had it all or I can't find it in there um which is another thing guys I need to go through the freezer too and kind of organize the freezer but um like yeah I haven't seen it recently and my dad went through the whole freezer and he said that he didn't see any either he like almost took everything out and put it all back because he was looking for something that we couldn't find um which apparently wasn't in there so um yeah there's lots of stuff that I think is in the freezer it's actually not but I realized that and Jewel does have 85% lean ground beef on sale this week for $1.99 a pound it says value pack I don't know how big a value pack is normally like at um Caputo's it's like a uh like a three pound package if it's more than five I probably won't wind up getting it I don't know why it would be because it doesn't say if it's like in the sleeve then or like the chub or whatever it's called I think that's what they call it um I think that's like maybe three to five pounds but it doesn't say it says like value pack so when the last time I bought it and it was like in that like you know cylinder roll kind of thing um it was like they said it in the ad ahead of time so I'm thinking that it's not going to be and normally when they do that it's like around three pounds so I don't think that'll be that bad and I'll make maybe like either two to three of them like with whatever um taco meat we have and then I'll just literally buy the taco seasoning at Aldi so I think that's what I'm gonna wind up doing this week just because like I said I don't have any taco meat and I, that's a really fast one too because it doesn't I can put it in the smaller slow cooker so it actually takes less time to cook and lately because I haven't been waking up so early that'd be really helpful um I did make dinner for tonight we had a ton of leftovers so I think I'm just gonna reheat it in the um in the oven tomorrow we did a pasta kind of thing and then we had a ton of leftovers so I'm going to do it as a pasta bake and do like mozzarella cheese over the top of it I think um and it had like chicken slices or like cube chicken that I ended up doing in there plus some other vegetables so um yeah but I think I'm going to do that also for dinner tomorrow as well guys I literally no lie I'm going to bed actually pretty early tonight I just finished actually uploading the count on the savings video I just have to get the blog post scheduled and this video scheduled and then I'm also going to schedule the Facebook post too um but I literally guys last night I was like oh I feel like I'm going to bed like at a decent time and like I said it's still early tonight but yesterday I last night I woke up what felt like every two hours seriously guys like I went to bed sometime maybe around one or something like that I was up before my dad woke up at like three in the morning then I ended up waking up again like I think around the time he left like sometime at five o'clock 
um, or something like that or like four or five o'clock and then I woke up again when Jack left for school at like seven o'clock I woke up again at I think like nine or something like that and then I finally got up um, sometime before 11 I think I woke up like 10 30 or something like that which again it's not very early but I was literally and I was up for like probably 10 or 15 minutes at a time every single time I was waking up I don't know why I could not sleep like straight through the night it was <laughs> really frustrating me yesterday um but like I said I couldn't I don't know why I couldn't sleep like I never got into like a deep sleep I'm hoping that I can sleep better tonight hopefully and like get into a deep restful sleep because I felt like kind of tired all day today and so that's why it's still early and I'm like I said just tired um I didn't get as much done today as I wanted to but what I was telling you guys that I actually got done um earlier before I did the countdown to savings the countdown to savings in my blog post is taking me a while to do because I'm manually adding all of the numbers together every single week and it's a little frustrating so what I decided to do which I've done in the past and I don't know why I didn't start doing it at the beginning of the year was I actually did a like spreadsheet in Google Docs and I like doing it that way because I can actually share it which I think I'm going to make it like shareable so that I can post it at the bottom of the blog post as well um which I did for 2015 when I was doing it and I did it all the way through I think through like July or something like that um but with the one for this year I didn't start it and I kind of was like oh I kind of want to and stuff like that but I never actually did and so then I was like okay I'm just gonna do it so I had two months worth of receipts that I ended up getting all organized like put together so I can see all of the savings and you know all that kind of stuff together um which is again I just literally copied over the same spreadsheet that I had made from 2015 and just plugged in all the numbers for this year instead um but it's actually, I think, going to make it easier for me doing the countdown to savings from now on because I don't have to all go through and add up all of the numbers. It will pretty much do that for me because I have all of the, like, um, equations in there. So I don't actually have to do that. So that's what took me a good portion of the day today to do. I also ended up going out and ran a couple errands with my mom. Um, because another thing, too, guys, which maybe I'll tell you guys more in tomorrow's vlog. But I did get this um well <laughs> not this I got these which are actually um my dad has a dremel well two dremel tools actually I guess and these are actually the diamond point sets and um they're supposed to be for glass etching which I want to start doing and so I have just a random um like jar that I saved <laughs> and I'm gonna practice on this first but I actually went out and went to a thrift store I wanted to see how much some of their um glass stuff was they have like 50 cent glasses and stuff like that because I feel like they get a lot of that stuff in and not a lot of people buy it um like kitchenware stuff and things like that and so that's why I was like okay I'll look to see what they have and they did have like some glasses for like 50 cents and so I can practice more on those as well um but I want to try that maybe sometime this weekend like after I finish my hauls and stuff like that um but that's another one of my to-do list but but the like attachment thingies for it were it was only like five bucks for the the twin set which I was like that's pretty good price so we got it at Menards last week I haven't tested it out yet um but that's why we were, ended up at a couple different places today and ran some errands so that was another reason why I kind of forgot that I hadn't posted the um the matchups I was like in my mind I had it done and so I was like oh they're already finished I don't even have to worry about them and forgot to even share them today so I have to get to that tomorrow because by the time I remembered today it was already too late and I was like I guess I'll just do it tomorrow so anyways guys I will see you all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's vlog make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and I'll see all of your and shiny face tomorrow. So bye guys.